and I'm looking forward to, again, the chance to renew and reflect and reinvent and re-become and then re-enter some place at some time on rocket fuel to become uh, even a better version of maybe who I currently am. Um, as I consider um, my boys, I'm, I'll be the proud parent of two off serving on missions, um, knocking on doors and doing good and trying as hard as they can to help other people, another in college. And here Holly and I now will be together alone for the first time in, uh, well, yeah, 23 years. We, neither one of us know what that's gonna look like either. Um, we're anxious to find out and none of this I'm viewing as permanent. Um, this is just a chance to re-become and like on any summit, you don't do it all at one time, right? There are times you need to pause and refuel and put the oxygen tank back up and man, I don't know, unthaw the freeze dried food and you know, recharge the butane tank. And so unless you like eating cold freeze dried food, if you've ever camped doing that, it's not very good. Um, I love, love, love my team. I just met with them and um, I'm so hopeful to be able to have us perform well and be together and have another bowl victory um, for this class and this team um, to culminate this for them. And the reason the announcement now is to allow it to then be about our team uh, moving forward as much as possible. Um, one more thing, there is a, uh, a bit of heaven that Holly and I have carved out. Uh, we call it the HB3, uh, which would be our brand, Holly Bronco and three boys. And this has been way more than football to our family, our little tribe of five and that sanctuary and that place we live on has been transformative for all of us in our lives, as well as the city of Charlottesville and UVA. And again, back to Carla as the world's best AD. Holly said it's clearly because she's a woman. Um, that's why she has superpowers. So, and I think I believe her. Um, and I believe that college football um, needs great people. And I think it needs grownups. And I think it needs a sense of balance and wisdom. And I think it needs um, a focus on the development of people um, as young people, regardless of whether they're a great player or not. And so I'm not taking my decision lightly um, as I try to do those things and have tried. And uh, again, the next journey will be uncovered as we go. And um, hard to uncover it if there's not a pause in contemplation and reflection. And so that's what I'm choosing to do. So with that, I'll that's be glad to take all the way up to his questions. We will start with Jeff White from virginiasports.com, then Mike Barber from the Richmond Times-Dispatch, and then Preston Willett from WCAB-TV in Charlottesville. Bronco, did the way the final month of the season went for the team have any impact on this decision? And, and how, much of, how much of a toll did that take on you, you know, mental, mentally and maybe physically as well? Yeah. I, um, I can't put a percentage on it. My first response would be no, um, because I, I like hard things. I know what it feels like, right? And I assess and I like challenges. And really, um, there was enough separation, Jeff, from that time period. You know, in the coach's life, things turn over fast. And so um, the clarity of this was, was really finalized yesterday, in my mind. Um, so... Oh, man, in, in, oh, yeah. a coach's, in a coach's world, that's that's almost an eternity from whenever the last game was. So this is a, a personal, and yeah, somebody needs to mute. So this is a personal and just like bigger picture, that's how I think, decision. And any other data point, it's hard for me to even remember to your question who we played the week before the last game and who we played before that. You know, that's just how coaches are dialed because it happens so fast. So I don't. I don't see a correlation there. Um, and I would tell you if I did, it just doesn't, I, I don't sense that. Uh, hey Bronco, if it's not the, the losing streak and, and you love your AD and you love your team, 
I have to ask, do you view college football as, as broken and, and do you not want to be a part of kind of where it is right now? That, that really wasn't part of the decision. Again, just everything I said at the beginning is the reason for the decision. It's just a chance, right? After 31 years straight to step back and renew and recover and reconnect and reinvent um, myself and our family and our purpose um, and then be intentional about where we re-enter and how and whatever that is. Um, and it very well could be, I don't know if it ever would be college football again, but right, this is uh, everything that I said prior to this is the purpose and that's not what I mentioned. So um, no. And if I could follow up, did you have a chance to, to speak with your staff or did this uh, kind of catch them by surprise? I spoke to my, ta my staff at 445 today I spoke to my team at five, and now I'm speaking to you at 5.30. Bronco, you've always talked about just the family atmosphere that you have with this staff. What was their reaction kind of finding out about this from you just kind of moments ago and then also your team? They had similar reactions and um, tears, um, uh, shock, um, sadness, uh, disbelief um yeah and it's going to take time to process um we know right and for most of us there's there's different cycles you go through and there's um anger or denial or and then withdraw and then finally you get back to acceptance and you know i, I there's all of those things happening right now um i know exactly the implications um of people because that's the decision those are that's the world i live in the decisions i make in fact impact families and young people and so i don't take it lightly um and after 17 years in a row of being a head coach i know what's required and i i don't take that lightly and i uh, absolutely want to be at my best in anything that i do for everyone that i'm responsible for um but most importantly um, yeah, uh, my partner, Holly, who is, that's 25 years straight, um, 17 of which I've been a head coach and man, I don't know if anyone, well, none of you know what that could be like, and I don't know, but what I do know is I want to spend a lot of time with her together, reconsidering what we're next thing we're going to do together.